Over time, the UV lamp in your 2B Tech ozone monitor may either burn out or become noisy. Here, we will learn how to run the lamp test to check the lamp intensity and noise level, and how to install a new lamp if necessary. To run the lamp test, hold the select switch until the menu appears. In the main menu, we first select the service, then the lamp submenu. We can run the lamp test with or without the air pump running. To test only the effect of the lamp on the instrument noise, we will run the test with the pump powered off. Notice that the display alternates between two screens, one showing the two photodiode voltages and another showing the electronic offset plus or minus the lamp standard deviation. The photodiode voltages are a measure of the light intensity striking the photodiodes. The photodiode voltages V sub A and V sub B should be in the range of 0.7 to 2.5 volts. The exact values are unimportant as long as they are in this range. If the lamp is burned out, the photodiode voltages will be zero. If the photodiode voltages are above 2.5 volts, the ozone monitor will output zero for the ozone concentration. The other screen shows the electronic offsets of the two detection cells plus or minus the standard deviations or precisions of the lamp. After a few measurements, the offsets should be in the range of negative 9 to plus 9 ppb. As you can see, the electronic offsets for this ozone monitor are well within the acceptable range. The noise or precision of the lamp follows the plus slash minus symbols. After a few minutes of warm up, the lamp precisions should be a less than 2.5. A higher value implies a noisy lamp. In other words, the intensity of the lamp is fluctuating too much to make fast measurements with high precision. In this case, the lamp standard deviations meet specification. But let's see how to change a lamp in the case that the lamp is burned out or is too noisy. First, we should turn off the power to prevent damage to the circuit board. And we will unplug the power cable as a precaution. The lamp is mounted in the bottom compartment of the ozone monitor, but it connects to the circuit board in the top compartment. So, we will need to remove both top and bottom covers. To change the lamp, we will first unplug it from the circuit board. Note that the lamp has purple and white wires. On the top side of the ozone monitor, we see the purple and white wires are plugged into connector J3. To begin, we will unplug the lamp from the circuit board. Next, we need to remove the wires from the connector. Done with an X-Acto knife, razor blade, or other sharp object by pushing in the spring clip while withdrawing the wire. Now we can slide the wires through the grommet that passes the wires to the other side of the base plate. To remove the lamp, we first remove the four hex bolts that attach the optical bench to the base plate using the hex wrench provided with the ozone monitor. Now, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four bolts that hold the back plates to the lamp housing. Now, remove the two bolts that hold the lamp housing to the optical bench. Next, carefully separate the lamp assembly from the optical bench. We just reverse the process to install the new lamp. First, we attach the new lamp housing to the optical bench using the two shorter bolts. Make sure the detection cell assembly is flush with the lamp housing before tightening the bolts. Otherwise, it is easy to snap off a cell window. We then attach the optical bench to the base plate using the four longer bolts. Your new lamp will come with a connector which must be removed. Now we can pass the wires through the grommet. Be sure to connect the wires into the correct positions of the connector. The locking end of the connector faces the front of the ozone monitor. The purple wire inserts into the slot nearest the edge of the circuit board. When inserted correctly, the wire will lock into place and will not pull out. Now insert the white wire into the remaining slot. Gently tug on the wires to make sure they are both locked in place. If they slide out, they probably were inserted upside down. Now plug the lamp into connector J3. Notice that the white wire, which is ground wire, is furthest from the edge of the circuit board. We may now replace the top and bottom covers. After completing the lamp installation, you should run the lamp test again to make sure the lamp voltage falls in 
the range 0.7 to 2.5 volts, and the lamp precision is better than 2.5 ppb. After changing the lamp, you should also re-zero the ozone monitor using the external ozone scrubber as described in another video. If you have an ozone calibrator, such as the Model 306 ozone calibration source, it is also a good idea to recalibrate the instrument span, although the span should not be significantly affected by the lamp change.